In today's adventure, we are taking you to one of the most breathtaking spots you've probably never heard of. Prince of Wales viewpoint. Yes, in Zimbabwe. It's giving Zimbabwe. <laughs> ah, it's nice. <laughs> What makes Prince of Wales view stand out? First, the history. It's said that this spot was named in honor of the Prince of Wales during a royal visit many years ago. Not only are you getting an unforgettable view, but you are standing on grounds with a rich story. Whether you are hiking up here for adventure or just escaping the hustle of everyday life, Prince of Wales delivers a moment of pure, uninterrupted beauty. Here is a tip. Visit early in the morning or late afternoon to catch the golden sunlight as it sweeps across the valley. It's pure magic. Trust me when I say, this place deserves a top spot on your travel bucket list. Whether you're visiting for a short afternoon escape or an entire day of exploring, you'll leave feeling reconnected to nature and maybe even to yourself. What are you waiting for? It's time to uncover the hidden gems of Zimbabwe, starting with Prince of Wales view. Indeed, everything about Prince of Wales is pure magic. It's more than just a destination. It's an experience that stays with you after you've left. You'll find yourself thinking back to that moment when you stood there, taking it all in, the peacefulness, the overwhelming beauty and the sense of discovery that makes this place feel like your own secret escape. What makes it even more special is how untouched it is. Unlike other popular spots, you won't be jostling with the crowds here as if the day couldn't get any better. We stumbled upon a local sculptor, an extraordinary gentleman whose stone pieces seemed to reflect the spirit of the land. His work is as breathtaking as the view itself. We couldn't resist asking him a few questions about his art, and he shared with us how the shapes of the hills and the flow of the wind inspire his designs. Each piece, he explained, is a tribute to Zimbabwe's natural beauty, deeply rooted in its culture and landscape. We'll leave you with some of the wisdom he shared. His words were as thoughtful as his sculptures. They'll give you a deeper understanding of what makes this place so unique, not just through its breathtaking views, but through the hands of those who live and create here. A little bit. All right. Ah, all right. So, hey, ladies and gentlemen, um, I've got the main artist here. So, he's the one who does all the custom work, all the designs. Um, so, if you need any um, custom work done, this is the gentleman. I'll put his number in the description below. Um, so, yeah, uh, <laughs> okay. Saka Basta de Makaritanga in Reku Recuveza. Okay, okay. Saka Abamunonia no specialize and Emma Pisa get us say. Canoti Okay, Munagoani would the Aniga Shiga. Eh? Okay, Scamunaga Consacu, I no consider a good or draw something or pie. The Mokasa Kuveze, the Kanoti, Nemango, Nisano, the Chino Buddha. I would do one so to it as you do to the Ganama pictures. Eh, okay. Ah, that is so nice. Saga, when Nanga Bata will say, Kana, when Wachida quit Roma, peace out. All right, zero seven eight three five two one six four. Okay, a Mokasa did Zogoro as a carrier number zero seven eight three. Eh. Five two one. Uh -huh. One six four. One six four. And it guy, my ten, you my ten. Saka, Chaku Fiche Pachano Yedu, a Pamwe Muchona Makosa, Chupinda, Nema WhatsApp. Nobody can WhatsApp at a number. Nobody can have a Oh, okay. And it, Tika. 
Aiwa Pakanaka, Aiwa Maziten, Maita Bas. Have you ever heard of Prince of Wales View? Drop a comment below and share your experiences. And if you love this adventure, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like the video, and stay tuned for more epic journeys across Zimbabwe and beyond. Until next time, keep exploring, keep discovering, and never stop chasing the adventure. <laughs>